Hello fellow tankers, this is Dauntless, and today I wanted to show you how you can create your own Sixth Sense icon for World of Tanks, or alternatively, how you can change your Sixth Sense icon to something that you might have found online. Uh, the first thing you're going to need is XVM installed in your World of Tanks folder, and then another thing that you're going to need is some sort of photo manipulation software if you plan on creating your own. Um, Photoshop has a 30 day free trial and that's something that I would recommend doing if you haven't already. And there's also a free version of uh, that's similar to Photoshop that's called GIMP and I'll put a download in the description below. So once you have an image that you want to use as your Sixth Sense icon, the first step is to open it up in Photoshop and then to crop it to the correct dimensions. You can do this by finding the crop tool over here and selecting it. And then you want your dimensions to be exactly the way it is in World of Tanks. So you want your resolution to just be blank and you want your width, and this is important, to be 194 pixels. And pixels is PX in Photoshop and then hit the tab key to bring it over to the height and the height has to be 210 PX. Once you have that done, select the region that you want to be your uh, your icon. In my case, it's going to be just like that. Hit OK, or hit this check mark here, and that will crop your image to the correct size. Now, I'm going to go ahead and zoom this up a little bit more so it's easier to see. The next thing I'm going to do is I don't want these uh, this border right here in my image. I want it to be more of a circle. So what I'm going to do is select the elliptical marquee tool. This can be found by holding down your mouse button over the rectangular marquee tool and it will select that. Once you have the layer that you want to edit and if your layer shows a little locked icon all you have to do is double click that layer and hit OK to the little box that shows up and it will unlock it allowing you to edit it. So I'm going to make a circle here and if you hold down the shift key it'll actually make a perfect circle and then holding down the space bar will allow you to move that circle around. So I'm going to get it to right about where I think is good select and then I'm gonna hold down control shift I this will invert my selection uh, selecting everything else but the circle and then I'm gonna hit the delete I gotta make sure I have the right layer selected delete and then control D will deselect my selection now as you can see this circle is not completely centered and I want to change that so what I'm gonna do is select my uh, this tool right here it's called the move tool and then I'm gonna push down control and a for select all and then with the move tool selected, you'll have these options up here. This one will select it. Uh, this one will center it on the up and down uh, axis, and this will do it on the right and left axis. And so now that it's nice and centered, I'm going to control D again to deselect. And now I want to give this icon a little bit of a glow, but I don't want it to be cut off here. So I'm actually going to shrink it down a little bit, making sure that that layer is selected. Hold down control T and that will give you the transformation tool and then holding down shift to keep your dimensions locked so it doesn't get distorted like this. Shift will make it locked. I want to make it a little bit smaller and hit OK. And again, I'm going to center it really quick just because I want it to be right in the middle. And then to give it an outer glow, you're going to want to double click on this layer. This will bring up your layer styles and you'll, there's a lot of options you can mess with here, but I want to just make it outer glow. And I don't want yellow, let's say I want it to be bright red, and so I'm going to drag it over to the brightest red, and this is a little bit small. I want to keep my spread as small as possible because this is, if you make it any bigger, it's going to be kind of like this straight uh, edge, which I don't like. So and I'm going to bring my size up uh, not too much, but maybe right around there, and then I'm going to bring my opacity up to make it more bold. Now I'm happy with that. So I'm going to want to save it here. This is important. Make sure you save your file. So save as, and you're going to want to make this a PNG. And the reason behind this is because you have this nice transparent background going on here and you want to preserve that and PNG will allow you to do so. So go ahead and click your desktop and hit save. And when this PNG option comes up, hit okay. And next I'm going to show you how to install that. So once you have your custom icon on your desktop, you're going to want to find your World of Tanks folder. This can be found in your local disk. Hit Games, World of Tanks, Res Mods. Scroll down to the very bottom and you see Mods, Shared Resources, XVM, Res. This will bring up the page that has a Sixth Sense icon. Now I'm personally not a huge fan of Quickie Baby's Sixth Sense icon, so I'm going to replace that right now. You're going to want to rename 
your new icon to exactly what it's called here, which is Sixth Sense. So I'm going to go ahead and rename it, and I'm going to type in Sixth Sense. Hit Enter, and then I'm going to slide it right into this folder here and replace his. Now I'm going to uh, load up World of Tanks, and I'll show you what it looks like. Anyway, guys, there's my logo. As you can see, it looks pretty cool. Uh, if you like this video, I would really appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up uh, down below. And if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe to my channel for more content like this in the future. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. You've been awesome, and I'll talk to you guys later.